I am starting drywall tomorrow. And before I do that, I want to walk around, take a thorough video of all my rough framing, my insulation, and everything that's behind these walls. I'm starting right inside the front door and I'm gonna go all the way around. Here's some of my plumbing and electrical that you all mocked so badly. Doesn't it just look beautiful now? Um, actually my pecs and the floor I haven't talked about yet, but I'm gonna do a video of that later. Um, lots of new and improved framing. A couple walls we knocked out here and put big LVL headers in. This was all very closed up. Small door here, small door over there. Knocked out a lot of walls. Added this little powder room here. But anyways, we're all ready for drywall. Um, this, hopefully, later on, I'll get some very good before and after pictures. This whole corner here we closed up. It was previously uh, a little bump out back in this corner here. It was actually an outside little porch. A little square area of that corner was outside and had a door. Hopefully um, I'll have some really good before and afters of all this. So if you want to see those, stick around. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to get a pretty thorough look at everything behind these walls before I cover up. Here's the, uh, powder room fan that I had to add later because I didn't know uh, when I first did that, that I needed a fan in there up around my rim joists. I did the DIY spray foam all the way around to seal that off, make it nice and tight. And then otherwise, uh, mostly just um, fiberglass. And these are two by four walls. So, um, so yeah, it's, it's not the ideal situation for insulation. I wish we could have uh, R19 with two by six walls, but. I just made sure to, I had a spray foam kit, made sure I get everything, any places that were questionable, I used spray foam where I had plumbing on my exterior walls. I put spray foam, spray foam around this pipe, and then I put fiberglass over against. And actually there's, there's a thin, a thin coat of spray foam behind this entire one because there was just a lot of wires and stuff to go around. I decided to just do a quick seal on all of that. There's spray foam behind this one as well. Anything where I had plumbing on my exterior walls, I spray foam behind and around that plumbing just to make sure it's nice and tight. Everywhere else, regular fiberglass <clears throat> here where my mini split line sets run up exterior walls I went ahead and did spray foam in this entire cavity here but I added some fiberglass over the top um, what was left of the cavity after I did a bunch of spray foam. Um, anywhere that I had the mini split line sets, I did the spray foam, try to get everything as tight as possible. Anywhere that it was hard to get my fiberglass into, I just uh, went ahead and did spray foam. So a good bit of spray foam was used around here. Over here, I've got two round uh, boxes up above the fireplace. I'm going to put some fireplace uh, spotlights in. And then otherwise, in this uh, living room, I've got six can lights. 
Uh, the kitchen is can lights as well, for that matter. Uh, basically, same thing in here. Spray foam along all of the rim joists. Otherwise, um, fiberglass. And I did do spray foam behind all of my receptacle boxes, uh, any switches, any boxes on exterior walls. I did spray foam. Some of my just smaller cavities, if they were really small, I just put spray foam in. Um, so my hope is that it's going to end up being really nice and tight with all of the spray foam that I put in places. I head upstairs. More of my wonderful plumbing work. And up here, I insulated the second floor ceiling, attic floor, whatever you want to call it. Um, even though the attic eventually is going to have spray foam, the entire attic is going to be airtight, sealed. Um, we insulated the attic floor anyways because, uh, for one thing, it's kind of down the road where we might finish the attic. And the other thing was we kind of wanted to leave the attic with its own temperature adjustment so that if we don't, uh, like in the winter time, maybe not, it, when we're not using it, we wouldn't actually heat up there too much or not keep it as warm. So just insulating between the floors seemed like a good idea for us. Here on these windows, this was kind of a pain because we built these windows up, made them smaller. So I did a lot of small pieces of insulation around the windows where we built them up because most of these windows were built up from the bottom to make them a little smaller. I'll just show you what I did up in here because this attic is eventually going to get foam on the entire uh, roof. So right here where the uh, roof rafters meet the exterior walls, um, I sealed that up completely. Um, you can check out my spray foam insulation video. You'll see exactly how I did that. I didn't want the fiberglass insulation gone directly against the um, roof deck. So I did spray foam and some rigid foam board in there before I put the fiberglass in to make sure that's 100% tight before I put the fiberglass up against it. Here again, mini splits on an exterior wall. Made sure to just do spray foam in the entire, uh, anywhere that there's line sets, drain lines, whatever. So this has spray foam all the way around the line set, back behind it. Um, should be very tight. This wall over here is all cut up the way it is because this was a big window in here. There's a double window here. This room really was just full of windows and we closed those up and just put smaller windows in. So that's why the framing is kind of weird in this room. And 
get a shot of the bathroom before we cover it up. Here's this uh, ERV system that I just put in. Uh, that was a thing that I failed mechanical inspection on because I did not have an ERV. Didn't know I need it until they told me. So just put that in and should be all set and ready for drywall. <laughs> that was the entire first and second floor. So like I said, drywall is happening tomorrow. I actually have friends coming to visit us from out of state and he is a drywaller. So he's gonna help me hang drywall on my ceilings at the very least. And then on the walls, I am hoping to just do that myself. And then I'm debating the finishing. I think I might just let someone else finish it. Um, it's just gonna take me too long to finish it myself. But we'll see when that time comes. Thank you for watching. Blessings on your day.